The increasingly popular celebration of Dia de los Muertos is just around the corner. It's a time to honor the people in our lives that we have lost. There are numerous events happening across the county, including in Old Town, and that's where we find CBS 8's Jenny Day. I'll share with you, I myself have had a lot of loss. That's why Dia de los Muertos is so special to so many of us. Really a way to honor and remember those we've lost in a beautiful way. It's marvelous, it's beautiful. It's pretty and also I like it. I hear a lot more oohs and ahs when people walk into Fiesta de Reyes. From the vibrant marigolds to intricate detail on each sugar skull and skeleton, Dia de los Muertos, or Day of the Dead, is an annual tradition to celebrate those who have passed on. I got five brothers, three already gone. Victor Cisneros is now teaching the tradition to his granddaughter, Adriana. I know that. You get to celebrate about your family and also get to like, like go to the cemetery where they're at. We are all invited to build an altar like this one, an ofrenda, to display photos, cards, candles, and a few of their favorite things. Like my dad, he liked to drink coffee, or my mom liked to drink tea. For a list of events happening from San Ysidro to Oceanside, head to CBS8.com. Now here in Old Town, Day of the Dead is celebrated all month long, but it's traditionally a two-day event. The first day being for children who have died, the second being for all souls. Whether you see it as a religious experience or just enjoy the public holiday aspect of it, everyone can get behind the idea of honoring and remembering our deceased loved ones. Death can often be dark and scary, but the Dia de los Muertos way is bright and still so full of life. Eric Manella spent a year creating this masterpiece. The whole idea behind beautifully dressed skeletons is really just serves as a way to remind us that death comes for us all. Death isn't something to be feared. It's part of life. Um, and then let's just tack on the idea that we can invite the spirits of our loved ones back at this time of year. Its origins are thought to have come from ancient Aztec roots, where indigenous festivities were similar in spirit to what we see today. However, some historians think it may have gone even further back to medieval European practices before the 20th century. Others can thank Disney Pixar. Honestly, just came from the movie Coco, and I did a little bit of research just to have someone remembering you, that's the most important part. The official celebration takes place November 1st and 2nd. Reporting here in Old Town, Jenny Day, CBS 8.